PI, oh man. Not the death roller. Oh shit. <laughs> it saves them all the yellow ice blocks. Oh my <laughs> What a PI. That just that's just good for the elves. It just saves them taking yellow ice blocks. <laughs> Two dwarves down. Oh man. GFI to pick it up with block. Oh man, he's going fully ham on getting the uh on getting the getting the troll slayer block here then I guess. But But the elves have a guard as well. I guess he hits from here and pushes him pushes the guard out. He's going ham there, isn't he? Men's contact. I will think I'd have maybe just protected, protected the ball a bit, rather than that. Can't check the thing. I don't think. That was a four plus. Yeah, so you have two fame. Oh yeah, you can check the thing, can't you? Yeah, it's a four plus. Actually, it didn't work out for him. Frenzy trapped himself. Um. <laughs> oh dear. Frenzy trapping yourself and exposing the ball. Probably not. Not the best cause of action. But never mind. At least he, uh. <laughs> at least he didn't fail the frenzy trap. <laughs> the stats. The stats are. Um, I can tell you that Nuru is 57.1 in Champs Ladder overall. Striker is 50. Well, let's let's round it up. Nuru's 58 and Striker's 53, but he's 58 with Dwarves. So Dwarves are his his best race, maybe. But uh, yeah, I can't say I agree with. Uh, with that <laughs> that blitz and position one in nine it's not what he wanted but I really don't hit the death roller <laughs> I just kind of hate giving your opponent the ball <laughs> on turn one. He's a striker, is a graduate of the Bernie Buffon school of first turn. <laughs> first turn receiving drives. Um, interesting strategy. Nobody's nobody won, you know. Like you can't re. Uh, yeah. Sage didn't deserve to win. I mean, neither of them did. Like, well, you can say both of them deserve to win, or neither deserve to win. It was a draw. It was a full-on draw. Sage only won because he rolled high. You know, he won the he won the roll off, the uh, you know the uh, the penalty kick roll off. So, you know, it was just literally it was just literally a draw. So, you could say that seeing as Sage won the overtime toss, he, uh, you know, he kind of had the advantage in overtime, but... The <laughs> one... Mm. Oh yeah, Zong's one, yeah, yeah, Sage, Sage, Sage won the... Uh, Chobo! It's me old mate Chobo! Oh Chobo, how are you doing? <laughs> Go on then Emperor Augustus. Oh 
Mann, Chobo. I'm pretty happy. Uh, yeah, I was thinking. I was thinking. Uh, no, let's not be harsh. I don't. I don't want to be the nasty stream. All right. I don't want to be. I don't want to be the nasty stream. Um, Striker takes a novel approach to defending the ball, doesn't he? Here, he's uh, like you know, it per me personally, if if I'm faced with an elf team <laughs> like this, I would want, I would want my ball carrier behind, you know, in, in some kind of formation <laughs> that protects him, <laughs> and uh, yeah, striker thinks, fuck that. Let's just let's just go. Let's just let's, let's just let's do this. Um, wow. Well, yeah, he's got a death roller though. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm not sure. I will last the match. He didn't. Blit yeah, he couldn't blitz with wrestle, could he? No, the wrestle's down here. Oh man. Oh boy. I think he could have uh, blocked into him. Arby's got two guys next to him, so that wasn't. Oh no, he could stand up and block one of them away. Oh Christ! It's not a nasty stream, no, no. <laughs> I know, Chovo. I know. Oh man! Don't we all? Don't we all wish? Wish that. Oh man. Oh boy. <laughs> yeah, it's working, isn't it? He's used he's used a couple of rerolls in two turns. If somehow he gets he gets the ball back, he's looking alright. I honestly I've got no idea, Ungern. Oh hello Ungern. I've got I've got no idea. No idea what what nationality he is. Oh man. <laughs> oh, thanks, Hard Rock. <laughs> oh boy. Um, I, you'll have to ask Striker Machine. He decided. He decided to just go ham. <laughs> no reason he could have just he could have just fully defended the ball and decided to just fucking vacate the premises <laughs> and he just role played it hard he role played it hard he's like attack <laughs> and that's what he did wow <laughs> Wow, yeah, the pitch invasion put three... The pitch invasion put five L's down, and rather than consolidate advan his advantage, he decided to to basically split his team in half over over a protected turn, um, expose the ball, and frenzy... He tried to frenzy trap, but uh, that was that was stopped by getting both down. It was unbelievable. It was... If, if Bernie hadn't played his game, I would have said it was the worst turn of the World Cup. <laughs> To be fair, this is the most fun I've had in the World Cup, and we're only three turns in. <laughs> He's got his three dice block as well. Fucking hell. Bam, get one dice, son. 
I like how he's just wrecking him as well. He's removed a player and he's lost two rerolls and he still hasn't got the ball. <laughs> Oh yeah, the Burnley offset. This is the most fun game so far. I didn't enjoy, I didn't enjoy the whole game with Burnley's. But yeah, the offset, Burnley's offset, has probably be the thing that I'll enjoy most in Blood Bowl ever. To be honest, even if I, even if I win the World Cup, I don't think it'll beat the Burnley offset. Wow. Yeah, twice up, you know, those one those one in twenty seven failures get you every time. With mighty blow as well. Death roller. Oh god. Oh fuck about the Bernie offset, I was like that fucking <sighs> Does he not like it? Oh, wait a second. Oh. Oh, I'm sad. I'm a little bit sad now. Safe actions last. Safe actions sometimes. <laughs> uh, I'm sad, yeah, I think we've got the death of a meme here. A may may, a may may death. Can't watch this anymore. <laughs> Don't blame you, VGP. <laughs> oh. Christ, this is so. This is so. <laughs> I don't know, it's indescribable, isn't it? <laughs> it's absolutely indescribable. <laughs> it's absolutely. Needs a knock. If he doesn't get a knockdown here, he's he's kind of. Oh, he's gonna do. One dice blitz. Why not fight fire with fire? <laughs> We're past that point, Red Joker. We're past. We're past that point. Just like, oh fuck about this is like, this is just a test to see if I can make it through the fucking. <laughs> this is a test to see if I can make it through the match alive. That's all this is now. Fucking hell. <laughs> what? <laughs> What's going on? What is actually going on? <laughs> This is surf here if uh, if he wants to. Whew. It's it's something like that, Ian. It's something. This is the game of the World Cup for me. Holy moly! It's 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 a better advert for Blood Bowl than some of the games, isn't it? It's like, this is a lot of fun, this is what it should be like, isn't it? Playing with your, uh, playing with your buddies. 
But they're not having a laugh, that's what it's all about. Doesn't have an apple, does he? Oh man, he's getting wrecked. He's getting absolutely wrecked a Rooney by the Get fucking fucked, death roll. Fuck off. <laughs> 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 oh Fiji, it's not my fault. <laughs> I mean, I could start playing a game right now, but um, yeah, yeah, go on, mate. Oh dear. <sighs> I've forgotten which way to go. <laughs> He's got the ball. He somehow accidentally defended the, the ball as well. Oh my god, this was just a brilliant... It was just a brilliant plan, wasn't it? From a uh, from striker, really. He's made a Kaz and a KO and he's used two rerolls. It was just fucking genius. <laughs> oh man! <laughs> exactly, Shawnee. It was like it was like it was like Sage's perfect stall earlier today. <laughs> Tomorrow, like then and um, what's happened is uh, Senai's kind of like going on a kind of expedition um, thing. I don't know. I don't know what the word is, but it's not holiday. But like she's working um, for a week away. So all I'm going to be doing is just be working my ass off for the uploads to YouTube and and uh, so I mean I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go ham on the. Uh, yeah, it's kind of a business trip. Yeah, it's kind of a business trip. That's that's the best way of putting it. And uh, so basically, so basically, I'll be going ham on the working there. I'll be absolutely working my ass off 24 hours a day because there's, there's nothing else for me to do. <laughs> so I'll I'll absolutely get caught up with all of the replays um, over the next couple of days. Yeah, hundred percent. They'll all be on YouTube. And everything. Um, so yeah, tomorrow I'll do the Sage replay and and the Devo replay and this fucking replay as well. Holy shit! Holy shit! Can I say that? Oh my! <laughs> Oh, that's a rather cynical way of uh, putting it, Machina. <laughs> I mean, it may be accurate, but it's also a rather boring way of looking at it. <laughs> the Death Roller, um... <laughs> the Death Roller... The Death Roller has, uh... He's made a couple of blocks, I guess. <sighs> <laughs> yeah, who knows twice now. <laughs> well, it's it's the World Cup first round guitar, but it's the first. I tell you what, new 
Nuru, Nuru did really well in the uh, in the Rebel qualifier. He won he won five, lost one, and uh, he only didn't qualify through strength of schedule, I think, or goal difference. Uh, I've got no idea. All right, let let's find me. Let, let's find out. Um, Rebel. He he ended up winning a winning a French league, and that's how he qualified. But. Um, in the Rebel World Cup qualifier, yeah, he finished fifth. He won five, lost one. And it was touchdown differences why he didn't qualify from the Rebel one. Um, and he only lost to me and he won his other five games. But, um, yeah, this is, it, was it must be frustrating, wasn't it, to be playing in this game right now? Holy moly. Like, it's funny for us. <laughs> but this is your World Cup, you know. This is your World Cup game. And you're playing striker <laughs> with a death roller. <laughs> he's, he, he's gone full Bernie at you. <laughs> with a death roller. <laughs> and you've somehow left with one reroll and no players left. <laughs> Zach the Wolf Park, nothing has the bigger potential of Dicier than this fucking... He didn't follow up there. I guess it stops him getting an assist on the ball. Wow. Striker caring about the ball there. In shock turn of events. Striker gives token... Token... <laughs> Get talked, you little cunt! <laughs> on turn five, right in your diaries, um, Striker gave the slightest... <laughs> the slightest inkling of a fuck about the ball. <laughs> Maybe he does want to let him burn his last reroll. Is Nuru gonna fall for it? He's thinking about it. No, he does. Oh, he got it though. <laughs> Out of rerolls. <laughs> Ball in two tackles though. <laughs> oh, what even is this? Holy shit. <laughs> oh, man. What is this? I feel for Nuru, I really do. I do feel for Nuru. But this is so fucked, isn't it? <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Shadow and Death Roll. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, str <laughs> I'm struggling, I'm gonna struggle to survive this match, I think. This is fucking outrageous. Oh. Oh. Well, I'll tell you what, I'll, I'll tell you what, I'll, I'll, all right, okay, give me a second. Calm down into a tedium. Oh, you could have a surf and a block in every archery. Wow. This is something else, isn't it? <laughs> I 
<laughs> oh man, the death roller. The death roller fails to get her. Anything really. Got to push him here, hasn't he? Oh no, he hasn't got an assist there. I thought he had an assist there, but he does. He's just gonna push him there for a one die. So let's go. Oh, he just, he's got guard. All right, good. Boom. And then a two D here, and then. A recovery from the blitzer, isn't it? Eh? The blitzer can get the ball. And have it completely unprotected. That sounds good. <sighs> ah, yeah, just blitz. That's a good call, mate. Good call. Good shout. Don't need surfs when you just get straight up KOs. Freeze up the it frees up the air. I mean it's not a bad play to freeze up the air block. Block your hands guy. You know, that's 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 the kind of play where maybe it's, it's better than a surf. And another one. <laughs> oh man. Genuinely <laughs> notorious. Oh, it's so fucked. Holy shit. <laughs> I think that's the same question on everyone's minds too are notorious. What the fuck is going on here? Wow. It's just epic. <laughs> it's just it's just absolutely epic. <laughs> Not just gives 2D on the ball, just doesn't gives, gives zero fucks about the ball, doesn't it? Oh. <laughs> oh man. Oh man, I wonder if Strike is just doing this as like a personal challenge. He's like <laughs> He's like, I <laughs> Bernie made Jimmy laugh. Oh my beer. <laughs> and the funniest thing is he's just smashing him to pieces as well for removal. <laughs> oh god. It's too much no reroll, see you later. <laughs> Death roll a blitz. He should do, shouldn't he? He actually, he actually literally should do. Move this guy in here. And then blitz him. Three dice. Chain, chain him away. Or chain him. On a pow, chain him away. On a push, chain him on the ball for a scatter, maybe. <sighs> Fucking hell. <laughs> Death roll to the rescue, maybe. Pretty much, pretty much about as one-sided as it gets out of But, you know, that's only one-sided in coaching, isn't it? Um, is Stringer Bell, what race is Stringer Bell? Drix Woodies, isn't he? Woody, Woodies can just get killed by this team. <laughs> I mean, he'll probably win 5-0. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I mean, Drick would probably win 5-0. But, if he didn't win 5-0... If he rolled some ones at crucial moments, he would just end up like this. <laughs> now a re-rolls and his whole team getting murdered. Um, 
Yeah, Stringer Bell versus Drick is a hell of a first round match. Of Glorious! Oh. Oh, a sub for the best match of the WC18. <laughs> Glorious! Thanks very much, Pancho DLV. <laughs> 14 months. Unbelievable. Thank you very much. Yeah, how could you seed it? You know, you, it would be really, uh, it would be really hard to do any seeding. You could maybe have, you could really look at people's champs ladders ratings and win rates and and kind of do them by that. But that's horribly unfair, especially as you know people, people have been playing with different intentions. You know, so like, you know, everyone would make a new Smurf account, wouldn't they, for the World Cup then? So that wouldn't work. So. Yeah, I don't know what it, what how you could have done. <laughs> yeah, I think the best idea is the group stage. Yeah, I think that would that would be the best one because everyone gets three games. Everyone gets the full World Cup experience, and um, <laughs> yeah, this is it. Um, yeah, basically, basically that's what happened. Yeah, Rogue Wow, yeah, having group stages would have been the way. Because then three games stops you just getting diced and losing. Um, you know, which is which sucks. It would have the tension of playing for a win or or a loss or keeping the draw. Um it would make some third round games that weren't very there wasn't much point to them, but you know. <sighs> I know the group the group stages wouldn't take wouldn't take much longer, Volpies and Cobra, because when you think about it, um in the World Cup there were thirty two teams and there were three matches in the group stages and then they cut to six the top sixteen, didn't they? So it'd only be two more there'd only be two more games to get to the last sixteen. Um so you know, if if they took a day off each round, it would be it would be doable. Doable. You would want the group stages to be seeded, but you just couldn't. That's the thing. You just really couldn't, unless. Oh yeah, you'd need to reduce to thirty-two. Oh yeah, sorry. Yeah, you'd have to reduce to thirty-two, and then yeah, 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 yeah. Sorry, to have group stages, you'd have to have thirty-two. So it'd only end up one more game than what we've got with sixty-four. But it would suck. Yeah, it would suck that you would um that you would have to reduce to thirty-two. But you know. Yeah, you couldn't, you couldn't seed it. To, to seed it, the L's were defending, yeah, yeah. Um, to seed it, you would have to have a different way of qualifying, wouldn't you? And you would have to have, you would have to have some set criteria for qualifying that could allow seeding. But, you know, you can't just have, win an Xbox League, win Champs Ladder, win a French League, um, you know, win, win a Swiss League. You know, who's to say which of these leagues are better? Be one of the four people from Rebel. Who, who's to say any of those are more worthy than the others? You just can't, can you? Um, so, <laughs> yeah, it is better than Champs Cup when someone gets to play against Ogres, yeah. So, it would be nice some kind of seeding, but it really would be impossible with the current way of qualifying. And even then, like, you know... Let's say you did it on win rate, champs had a win rate. In that case, Sage would be a seed, but then you would take Undead without two ghouls, with only two ghouls. So then, you know, it would be, it would be interesting. Uh, you know, it's hard to say, isn't it? Yeah, I think they lost it three times. <laughs> yeah, it's it's it is interesting, isn't he? He's got a bit of a back line, so he could have I mean he could have had an extra one person here. Um it's not much of one turn, is it? But it does force him to use the hole or run all the way around. I guess running all the way, all the way around is better, isn't it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm going to GFI though. I think I would run all the way around, personally. Ooh, blitz. <laughs> Strike is the man, <laughs> you can't beat him. Oh. 
Oh dear me. <laughs> I mean, it's still eminently possible, isn't it? <laughs> oh dear me. <laughs> He's got a KO. It's worked better than any anti fucking one turn defense I've ever done. Make a KO. Holy shit. <laughs> what the fuck is this? I mean, to be fair, poor old Nuru must be fucking just pulling his hair out, mustn't he, right now? Could you imagine this? You qualify from the World Cup, you play in the fucking Rebel qualify, you finish fifth out of about 100 odd fucking people, 150 people, however many people were in Rebel. I don't know how many people were in the Rebel qualifier. How many were in the Rebel? I don't know how many were in the one he won. I don't know. 100, 130 people in, in the Rebel qualifier. Finishes fifth out of 130 people. Just misses out on that ticket. Then wins a, wins a different qualifier. You reward striker in the first round. <laughs> and then this happens. Something else, isn't it? Oh, man. <laughs> I think he ended an all I think he entered an all snotling league um with dwarves and nobody nobody noticed. <laughs> I think that was that was how <laughs> City warmongers is what he is what he won. Oh god. <laughs> oh god. Absolute best game of the World Cup. Uh, Holy shit. <laughs> oh, fucking hell. Oh, oh, this is too much, isn't it? <laughs> See you, VGP. Oh, my God. <laughs> That's that's all that's all this game needs, isn't it? An offset, otherwise I'll probably fucking die. <laughs> I'll probably be a death live on stream. <sighs> Alright. <sighs> Just every turn by striker Frankfurt. <laughs> Literally every every single nearly every single action that striker has taken. <laughs> In the entire match. <laughs> oh, fair fucking play. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, it's funny, isn't it? It's fucking funny. This is brilliant. What I like the most... What I like the most is... That fucking Ducky... 
and notorious now. And uh, maybe they've paused here. You know, maybe, maybe Ducky and notorious, Ducky notorious noob Spartaco. They've all uh, pupoc. They've all given it their all. <laughs> They've all given it their all and been dumped out in the first round. And then, and then Strike has just turned up and done this. <laughs> and he's one and up. And I'm fucking gone faint here. I've just gone faint with that laugh there. I've gone a bit, I've gone a bit faint. Wow. <laughs> oh dear. That was really weird. I like felt pressure in, in like kind of behind my eyes. That was really weird. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Fucking hell. Every single turn berserk. Every single action by striker pretty much is just amazing. Wow. Wow. <laughs> this is something else, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, I thought. It's used to Blood Bowl, not this. It's used to playing Blood Bowl, not watching this. <laughs> this is cosmic. Oh, dear me. Oh. All right, let's calm down. Let's calm down. I mean, this is hard. I mean, this would be hard if you're Nuru. You've got to kind of, you know, do the right thing. Blitz the blitz the armor raid. No. Oh yeah, we'll be single. Rock hard today. <laughs> Hopefully it will. So was my cock. <laughs> uh, so yeah, so they did the right thing, didn't they? Get back, you know, cover the ball, pick it up, try to go for overtime despite half your team being dead. I mean, no, you've got to score fast. He's, he, this is the time. I mean, this is this is the time to go full in Arian, isn't it? He, he, I think he's misplayed here, and, I, and I'm being serious now. I think he's misplayed. If ever there is a time to go full in Aryan. It's versus somebody who doesn't even realise there's a ball involved in the game. So this is completely and utterly the wrong strategy here. This is this is so wrong from Nuru. And you know, you've got to forgive him because he's used to pe you know playing people who play Blood Bowl. But just just score. Just score in two. Or three and, and turn him over this time. Let's. I mean, he's still got nine, yeah, you know, but what if he loses the toss? Oh, I guess he'll sack him still. <sighs> exactly, our back. Yeah, this is time to. See, Striker would, would completely break the, the perfect Blood Bowl AI. <laughs> <laughs> you know. Truly, really that was quite. That's true. Yeah. <sighs> no advert. Absolutely not. <laughs> I think I could have lost to him with 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 what else? Just because he could just randomly cast everyone. Yeah, you wouldn't have to score in in two, but he's only he only had one. He only had one. Uh, He's only got one slayer, so you could you could have tried to go down on the sidelines and score in two. You know, depends. Score as fast as you can without rolling dice. But this is not looking like a, a score as fast as you can without rolling too many dice. You know, this is looking like a stall a half out kind of thing. Exactly, hard back, yeah. <sighs> yeah, exactly. Uh, well, Rich Snooks, I've got to get past there. Uh, 
I've got to get past on and first, which I don't know. Unfortunately, Volpe's in Calder. I haven't. Oh yeah, Ardvac's Ardvac's got an updated bracket. Yeah. Um. Whew. Whew. Um. Yeah. But I don't know. I mean. It doesn't take, you know, he, most of his players don't have dodge. He's got, he's got one player on the pitch with dodge, so the herb dirt, he's gonna get herb dirt based, and he's got to roll dice, and it's it's not good. I'd much rather be rolling those dice on defense, trying to get the two-one win, than you be, use, be using them on offense, trying to not get turned over. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the 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 death roller really, really wasn't as bad as I initially thought. Absolutely not. But no, I. <laughs> you'll have to ask Nuru for that, and I don't really see the point in high elves. I would have either gone pro elves. For bludge step guard, that's pretty good, isn't it? Starting with bludge step guard and getting a second bludge step guard in the second game. So I could see pro elves, um, but I don't like high elves. No. Oh. Oh, that's. Lame stats for the death roller, isn't it? Yeah, if he wants AV8 elves, I would, I would have gone dark elves if he was going to go AV8 elves, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I would have gone dark elves 100%. And I, I tied with dark elves. I went, uh. Did he qualify with HE? He used, uh. He used Skaven in the, uh. In the Rebel qualifier, I remember. Um. But yeah, I mean, look. That's what I mean. You've got to you've got to ask him why he chose them, isn't it? You know, like at the end of the day, people people chose the teams that they thought gave them the best chance. Now, whether that's the best chance to win the tournament or the best chance to win the first two games to get any money, that's up for debate, isn't it? But um, but he thought it gave him the best chance, didn't he? That's that's. That's it, simple as that, isn't it? That's obviously why he's shown it. Now, I wouldn't have chosen them. So, either he, yeah, as Ungern says, he's either more... He's more comfortable with them or whatever. He can't re-roll that. He literally can't because Striker's going to give you approximately one shot on the ball every single turn he's got the ball. So, you can't use a re-roll that. Yeah, he went 5-0 he went on in Rebel, though, with Skaven. So... But then Skaven are a bad choice as well, I think. Yeah, look, it, it's his choice, you know. So he, he, you'd have to ask him why he chose high elves, wouldn't you? I, I wouldn't. I don't think they're a good choice because I just, I would just never choose. I would just never choose high elves ever, <laughs> basically. Maybe in a team event or or something, if something stopped you using other teams, but you know, that's it, isn't it? Yeah. Um, Dark Elves only get four skills and High Elves get six skills, so including a double, but yeah, I, th I, th I mean, You know, I, I don't know, I just think you could just use... If you can play High Elves, you can play Dark Elves, you know? I would have just gone Dark Elves. Or one more block. You could go three Blitzers and two Witch Elves. Um, but... Yeah, I, I'm just not sure about that. I, w I wouldn't do it. I don't think it's a good pick. Um... 
and I I don't really see the point of them. I, I really, I genuinely don't see why people would pick them in this, you know, because I just think you could go Dark Elves or Pro Elves or Wood Elves. To me, High Elves don't really have a niche in this format, but he did. He went with them. Fair enough, isn't it? One hill and Necro. Hmm, interesting. Yeah. You know, it might it might work out for him and that, but I'm, I just I just don't think they're a strong pick personally. Not calling not calling Nuru terrible or anything for picking high elves, but um, I just don't like them as a choice, and I don't know why why he put them, but why he took them, but I guess. You know, well, obviously he took them because he thought he had the best chance of either winning his next, his first two, or winning the tournament. That's it, isn't it? That's uh, that's what you that's what you've got to do. You've got to you've got to pick. You have to pick your race. You have to pick your your team and your race based on what gave you the best chance of either winning the first two games to get in the money, or go, well, no, going or going as far as you can. Going as far as you can. Maybe that's a fair thing to say. Pick the race that gave you the best chance of going as far as you can. And obviously, well, that was a bad, that was a bad mistake, wasn't it? Making himself a GFI so he could get him out on a two plus. That was, that was a bit of a mistake or a misclick. Um, so he obviously thought Hyles gave him the best chance of getting as far as he could, but I think he's probably, I think he's wrong because I think he would have been better off with Dark Elves or Pro Elves or Wood Elves. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah, yeah. He qualified with high elves to pick them again. That's fair enough. I qualified with wood elves, so I picked them again. That's it, isn't it? You know, at the end of the day, if you feel comfortable with the team, I mean, that is the answer, isn't it? You know, that is the answer. He he took them because he thought that gave him the best chance to go to win games. Simple as that. <laughs> Every everyone everyone picked their race for the same reason, except Striker maybe because he thought Death Rollers go vroom. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I quite like. I quite like the world. Oh, did he? Oh, there you go then. Um. <laughs> oh, dear. I do quite like the I quite like the World Cup format, honestly, adding the skills for a bit of like an illusion of, of progression and stuff and the stacking and but only two. I I do quite like the World Cup format. Was dead to end the World Cup. <laughs> Unfortunately for Nuru, it is starting. They would have only got six skills total and two doubles. Yeah, there is the there is the dead rubber matches. It is is definitely a danger of group stage at this club. You know. Yeah, there are, there's lots of options they could have used, isn't there, you know, but, um... Oh, you had to base the ball. Easy, easy, easy reroll there. Yeah. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, no. 
striker. No striker. Herp, derp. Base, base, base. Striker base, has gone to the uh, gone to the Surgeon Vincenzo School of Reroll Conservation. I'm only joking. There was lots of pressure. I'm not. I'm not slating them. That was just a joke. It was just a joke. No one take offence, please. Please. I understand that the stakes are high, and they were under pressure. They played blood ball for three hours in a row, and it's very stressful. You know, I understand all of that, but I couldn't resist. <laughs> Someone said he streams, I'm guessing he's off his fucking tits. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm expecting the fucking... <laughs> I don't know what I'm expecting here. Uh, Alright, yeah, maybe... Maybe he's just stoned or something. He doesn't look very hyperactive. Oh, man. Oh man. Jim, how dare you slag off at Sage while you sit there filling your pie holes? <laughs> I'm so offended. <laughs> Thanks, Azumba. Oh dear. Oh dear. Microphones. <laughs> oh dear. It, it will be on YouTube soonish, yes, Silmarils. I'm working on, on ways to get them onto YouTube faster, so. So, um, I wouldn't put it past him, Hardback. I wouldn't put it past him. change them to shards. I will change them to gym shards, but um Yeah, he had to roll a lot of dice to get there, didn't he? But at least he's got himself into a spot where he can score on turn fourteen. And then I guess he's got two turns to turn him over. Biggest thing is having to not use his rerolls because he really can't afford to use rerolls. So I mean there was a lot of dice rolls there that he had to he had to you know he would have had to use a reroll on. So a bit lucky to be honest. But I was a fucking legend. A fucking legend. <laughs> oh dear. You can chain the surf the ball. Can I think he could. I mean, maybe if he makes six plus dodges. If he made like a five plus, a six plus dodge into there and a six plus dodge into there. And then blitz him and do it that way. But barring six plus dodges, I don't think he can. Six plus Slayer dodge in the world pill, why not? It'd work for Sage. <laughs> How does that work though? How does that work? He had, a, he had a six plus dodge in with this guy. Um, he would have had a six plus dodge in and six plus dodge in. No, he would only want six plus dodge. And then push him to there. And then. And then push him out. Yeah, so only one six plus dodge is all he needed. 
He just needed he just needed the six plus dodge from either the troll slayer. Yeah, he's just gonna but instead he got his own block runner served. No, he definitely did journey, and he definitely didn't need a dodge to serve. He definitely needed the six plus dodge to serve. Good use of a reroll, though. <laughs> We're back. Oh man, don't. I'd come. I'd recovered then. Didn't did it really, Volpe's, no. I think it's fair to say. I think it's fair to say. Wow. I don't think I'd have re-rolled that. That seems really unnecessary. Wow. I think that was a poor re-roll by, uh, by, uh, by Nuru there. Really bad. Now, obviously... It's easy to say that he might have not re-rolled it and had his guy died and then you'd be saying, oh, should he have re-rolled it? But, um, you know, I don't think he should be trying to stall till turn eight and I think he needs his re-rolls to turn him over. And, yeah. I don't think he had to at all, either. Um... It would have been it would have been an hour. Break. Sage won through penalty kicks, yeah. Yeah, I would say. I mean Sage I think Sage had the worst team by quite a way, actually. In the end, by only having two zombies, two ghouls. And it was a it was a tough matchup for him. I'd say played poorly the first half. Um Second half. It was tough for him the second half. I mean, it is a tough matchup. Um, but he won the toss for overtime and, and then just had no team left by then, so. Did all he could do, which was stall it out. The <sighs> <sighs> striker is doing. <laughs> I don't think I don't think you have to reroll this. I don't think he adds much to it. I just think you can score next turn, and then I would have, I would have, uh, I would have just stopped, scored as soon as I could without you know trying to not reroll anything unless I absolutely had to. But then it's easy for me to say this watching from a you know a completely, um, completely calm, unbiased point of view. If I was Nuru. I would probably be, you know, absolutely on a, you know, tilted into another dimension. So it would be hard to think, to think like, you know, logically and everything. Well, then dodge the guard guy out first, then, eh? You know? Look at you, look at you, look at you, uh, Ardvac, talking like it's an actual game of Blood Bowl. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly Necropotent. The Sages Undead team was just a weird, a weird, flawed strategy. You know? It was just, I, I really hated his team pick. I, I, I think it was a terrible idea. Um, frenzy trap seems good. Just roll pals. Why not? Every time. Honestly, if I if I was Nuru, I'd be like, what can you what can you actually fucking do in this game? It's just horrible, isn't it? But then when you're watching it, you just like. <laughs> Like it, it would be, 
it's easy to sit here and be calm about it, but if you're playing the game, you'd, you'd be losing your shit, wouldn't you? He's just oh, he's just frenzy trapped himself and made a made a KO. You know. Yeah, exactly, Valenik. It's just, especially if he thinks he's good. If Sage thinks he's crap, then trying to foul to get lucky to beat people who are better than him with a fouling team, that seems okay, yeah? But I don't think Sage is crap, and I don't think Sage thinks Sage is crap. So I think it's, it's a really, really flawed strategy from Sage to make a fouling team that, that fouls things. Without DP as well, yeah, Notorious New. It's, it's, it's a nonsense strategy, isn't it? Because I don't know, pinkish tinge, but that's it. He's you know, to be fair, he's probably he's probably tilted out of his his fucking mind, isn't he? He's probably tilted out of his mind. You know, <laughs> fouling team that fouls things. It's certainly not fucking winning matches, is it? You know, a fouling team with. With no DP and no ghouls, I, it's a we really weird choice. Yeah, but I, he said that, but how does he think that? I don't understand, I just don't follow his logic at all, Necropotence. I don't see how that is. I don't understand why he thinks that at all. And it's, you know, it's okay. I mean, he, he obviously, he, he, he thought it was good. He thought it was good, but... Um, Really weird. Exactly, exactly, Adva. Yeah. <sighs> he has never played in Champs Ladder, Fellaini. He might have played Undead on Fumble or played them in Open, but he hasn't played them in Champs Ladder. He did, yeah, attack the sale. He did. Um, it was interesting. It was really strange. Really strange from Sage. I really don't understand this pick. It's not his style. And... But it doesn't even cower them. <laughs> Just use humans. Just use humans. Win the mirror because you're a better coach, and and have mighty blow tackle for elves. I just really don't understand why he thought. Why not just use wood elves? Yeah, why not just use wood elves? Like, yeah, it's it is more of a. Why not just use wood elves and win the mirror because you're the better player. And then beat humans by getting lucky. It's just like, oh, Dark Elves, yeah, Dark Elves, and I'll play Wood Elves and Humans. Wood, dark Elves are a good counter for Wood Elves and Humans, absolutely. You know? Bit tricky in game one and two. But if you can get through the first few games, they're absolutely fine. I might have played Dark Elves. But, um, I just thought it was a really, really weird choice. Uh, you know, I, I can't. I can't condone his team choice at all, especially roster. Go on, use your last reroll, good. No, wow. All right. Fucking hell, he, he actually exercised restraint. We're seeing a new side to striker. Yeah, yeah. It, it's nothing against Sage as, a, as like you know, as a skilled, you know, blood bowl coach whatsoever. I just think, I just think he picked a really bad team. That's it. That was, I think, that's it. In my opinion, Sage's team is terrible, and I think, in my opinion, High Elves are terrible. But at least Nuru qualified with High Elves. 
and is comfortable with high elves. For Sage to use a team that he's not used to, and it's just it's just weird. But there you go. He saw something different. Maybe he'll be maybe he'll win every game and be pr maybe uh, maybe prove right. But maybe he'll win the whole thing, eh? But um, I really don't like his 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 team choice. I mean, the race choice could have just been better. You know, his race choice could have been better. Like his race choice was fine. Sorry, I think his race choice was fine to an extent, even though he's not used to them. But I think the team is just really, really uh, weird. Yeah, exactly. Notorious news. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. That's true. This guy called Jimmy did used to play Chaos, but... Yeah. Ah, maybe, yeah, Berserk, maybe. Weird choice, though. Really weird. One, be right back. Oh man, yeah, it's 50-50, 50 50 yeah. Uh, oh. Yeah, Chaos is unplayable, yeah. Yeah. Necro gonna win. Mm. Yes, exactly, Ducky, yes. We get literally nothing. <laughs> yeah, exactly, Valina, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if I actually die from laughing, it's pretty bad. Uh. Yeah, that was... That's bad when you go in overtime, isn't it? He should eat... And you know what? He hadn't used any of his rerolls on turn 13 or something. He should have got in. He should have got in with three rerolls, shouldn't he? Striker should have got in with three rerolls. It's it's epic, Juvenian. It's absolutely <laughs> match of the World Cup. It's best match of the World Cup. It's not going to get topped. This this cannot be topped for match of the World Cup. No way. I don't care if the finals, you know. I don't care if the finals, me versus Velahopia and it's fucking seven nil win. <laughs> This is the best one. <laughs> Nothing can beat this. <sighs> you get some extra round of LRS blocks. <laughs> yeah, it'd be it'd be nice for him to get the final, wouldn't it? And then it'd be nice for me to beat him in the final. <laughs> I don't think I'll win the next match though. I really don't think I'll, I'll win the next match. That's the thing, Orcs just completely... There you go, yeah, you got an extra round. You've both got extra rerolls. Unbelievable. 
what I like is um, you, you choose one of your four skills, you choose uh, Mighty Blow, and then when you have LOS hits, uh, you don't make them with Mighty Blow, you instead make two GFIs that maybe would have resulted in Ninja Down right player to blitz with him. Great, great shout. 50-50. It's 50-50. Oh my god! Oh High L's won god. the toss, I believe. Fuck I believe you. this is um this is wrong, so high elves have won the toss. Yeah. Oh well. Nuru can relax then, eh? You got that extra reroll. Whew. Yeah, the dream is dead. He might have had a shot if he'd uh, if he'd won the toss striker, but oh man. <laughs> yeah, who knows, Grindo? What surprised me was um, Andy Davo trying to force himself to score quickly against Bernie was really weird. Obviously, high elves do fast scores better than dark elves, but would still rather not force themselves to, wouldn't they? But maybe he will. Maybe he will force the quick turn. He's got. He's got a thrower. And catches, so maybe he will. One direction, maybe. One dice. Strike a one dice. Let's fucking go. That's why he plays dwarves. Need <laughs> four awesome. It's not easy. Fed D again, yeah, even no matter, no matter, no matter who the coach, it'd be really hard. Yeah, he's just got to rely on rolling some ones. Yeah. Tell you what, he, he's been a lot more boring on defense, hasn't he? Apart from the uphill, the random uphill. But his 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 receiving drive with the uh, with the death roller was was magic, wasn't it? <laughs> oh man. Fair enough, Sarfield. <laughs> oh, man. Do you know what the crazy thing is? Saurus with shadowing isn't even bad. That's how good... That's how good Saurus are. Saurus with shadowing isn't even that bad. They're better than a rookie Saurus, aren't they? You know? Obviously, they're paying TV for it. But it's... They're still better than a rookie Saurus. So, you know. Oh, man. I think I own a watch after this. Holy shit.
Well, yeah, I mean, it's fair enough, isn't it? It's better than a G5. Oh yes, I understand that the shadowing, the shadowing Saurus is a fun team, but the ridiculous thing is it would actually be quite good because you either stay there and get punched by a Saurus or you dodge away, isn't it? So it's actually, it's actually not a bad idea, shadowing Saurus and shadowing Skings. No, it's, well, it is a bad idea, but it's not that as bad as it could be. <laughs> Like the Death Roller, it's still a strength 7 bastard with Mighty Blow, isn't it? Can base the ball here, can't he? I'm sure that'll be the play he goes for. Yeah, that's the thing on Necropotence, that's what you have to do, you have to think for one minute about whether you use your reroll or not, you know, and then and even though you're only going to have to make that decision one time in six, because you don't have a 15 second chunk to have to decide. It's a really bad system, it's a really, really bad system, the the, the 15 second things for rerolls, I, I really do, really do don't like it. <laughs> it doesn't base the ball. Oh my god. I'm actually shocked. Could have put tackle on the ball. I would have liked putting tackle on the ball. Make him roll dice. And get him behind as well. Actually make his pretty pretty tricky for the, the, the problem is he's obviously with with moving the slayer there and these guys here he's fully committed over here so the the, the high elves are just going to move over here now and stuff and just pull them up pull them all around the pitch aren't they with movement eight everywhere but this this was good actually this was good i thought he would have based the ball for sure and i wouldn't have hated it you know because make a new rule roll dice he might roll a one SFL, yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly, Grindel. Yeah, I have to block down my evil or shut. I wouldn't. I wouldn't mind. Shiny flashlights. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> yeah, exactly, Jahunian. Yeah, it's. You know, he doesn't want to have to make all these dodge rolls. He doesn't even need to tackle the ball carrier, the ball carrier hasn't got dodge. This is the problem, none of his guys have got dodge, have they? If it was Dark Elves, he'd have four, four guys with dodge, maybe five guys with dodge. And instead he's got two. And he's got two with block and one with wrestle. Two block, one wrestle, two dodge. And if he was... If he was... Uh, Wood out, Dark Elves, you could have three block, two wrestle, four dodge. Or three block, one wrestle, five dodge. It's just, it's just better, isn't it? I think. <laughs> yeah, exactly, Grindel. Yeah. I think it's pretty scary, yeah. I think it's pretty scary. Okay, he doesn't, he just does Randall passes.
pretty scary. Alright, thanks Red Joker. RTSD, wow. Fessa won the Rebel Qualifier as well. It's unbelievable, isn't it? RTSD, I think, was in OFL. I've got a feeling. Because he wanted to protect the ball with a dodge. Oh yeah, he could have blocked first. Yeah. Yeah, that's just that's just poor, isn't it? Oh man. Oh man. Here we go, here we go. Oh man. <laughs> it's Chobo. <laughs> Oh, Chobo, I tell you, what a blast from the past, it's Chobo, it was a real shame man, real shame about the rats. I, I think you should have chosen a team that, that suited your style better, because it was really good, solid, safe blood bowl, but... You know, I think there were a few times, you know, Skaven, they've got the movement nine and everything, there's a few times, they've kind of got to roll the dice, you know, I think. Yeah, I think, I think if you had had dwarves or humans, or orcs, spot on, but I think there were times when you had to, you know, roll the dice a bit more, rather than being, but you know, it was, it was, it was good blood ball. Don't get me wrong. It was very good, very, very good, solid blood ball from start to finish. But I think there was a few times when you know you just had to take risks because, as you say, Mr. Light's a very solid coach and had dwarves for your skaven. Yeah, exactly. I don't know. I don't know. It's it's hard to say. There's there's a few ways you can play it. I think he hasn't got many elves. Yeah. Look at these. Look at these GFIs here. Um. I don't know what he should have done. You know, he, he should have probably moved up. Giving himself more space to, to go around and then score in three, or who knows what he should do, but he, he doesn't want to have to make dodges, to, he doesn't have to roll dice to score. So, having both L's in scoring positions, it's good to have one so that you can at least, you know, maybe roll some dice to score, but it's not essential. Nice Kaz there, wasn't it, on the armor eight guy? Rolled nine to Kazim. Classic luxury player. Get fucked, you little cunt! <laughs> Fuck off! <laughs> I guess just to just to occupy them for the next turn, isn't it? Really would with back, yeah. Upset of the tournament if they don't win. Oh man. He's actually played quite sensibly on defence, hasn't he? Yeah. Striker, apart from he's been like quite liberal with the uh, with the GFIs and kind of rerolls in general, he's played like you know like normally. <laughs> whereas, whereas, uh, quite some yeah. I said apart from all the, the apart from all the GFIs, he's played quite. I don't know if you saw the first half of Lane. <laughs> I don't know if you saw the first half. <laughs> but he was just no fucks given about the ball at all. 
You want a two dice me? No worries. You want a one dice me? Don't care. And yeah, he's going to make some GFIs. Oh man, the first half was insanity. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, he's he's got he's gonna have to make some. I mean, that was maybe a bit much there, making all those. But yeah, he's, you know, it's it's hard, isn't it? The the elves are movement eight, and the dwarves are movement four. So he's gonna have to make some GFIs. You know. Twenty-two, if you're showing me. I mean, that was maybe a bit over the top the way he did that turn. I'm not. I'm not saying that that turn was a turn where he had to make GFIs, but um, there are going to be turns where you've got to make GFIs. That's a problem. Isn't it? The, the elves are just literally twice as fast as him, so when he had to he had to come in strong to stop the the quick score, and then that left him open to the to the reverse, and then he just can't move his guys fast enough. Yeah, I think he's got to blitz this guy and just kind of kind of screen it off. Yeah, it does look like his ball carrier surf, doesn't it? GFI and hit him, yeah. Yeah. Good, good, good spot, Wolfbark. Yeah, double GFI. Dodge. One dice, so. Probably, it probably loses in the game doing this. It, yeah, it just probably loses in the game. Like, it's not even good. The problem is that it's not even good. <laughs> Because he's got a guy to react and he's got a team. He's got a movement eight guy right there who's a GD4 who can go wherever it you know, wherever it goes. If it goes back this guy gets it. Or this guy. If it goes laterally this guy gets it. If it goes this way. You know. It worked out, it was the best possible scatter. So it actually worked out amazingly well. Um, so yeah, fair play to him spotting it. I mean, that's you wouldn't believe that was the same person, would you? That was a good spot. Yeah, but he could have maybe you know just blitzed him and played safeish. But he got the absolute god scatter. Good spot by Wolfbark. Unbelievable spot by Striker. Out of rerolls now. No room. Well, both sides are. Both down, get fucked. Oh my god. Okay, well, okay, yeah, that was a good surf, wasn't it? Wow. Wow. This is insanity. This is actual insanity. The runner's right here. He can, he can free him and pick up the ball. There you go, finally makes the block that he had to make. Oh, now we'll do a random blitz. Jesus Christ. <laughs> G 
Jesus fucking Christ, just go and pick up the ball. <laughs> I mean, he, can, he can move around to here now. All these blocks that just don't matter, holy moly. I don't know, I don't know the fuck. <laughs> There's been a lot of people making irrelevant blocks in, in this World Cup, hasn't there? Pretty sure that's not oh. what Nuru was thinking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he does. That's true, Valenia. That's true. I the first turn, Skrull. The first turn is like nothing you've ever seen. Well, it is. It is like something you've seen in life, probably. It's like it's Bernie turned up to eleven. Is what it is. first turn of the game, the first turn of the match was absolutely unbelievable. It was unbelievable. I know this is the last, last one for a day. Yeah, the whole first half. The whole first half was insanity. Yeah, it was unbelievable. <laughs> first, yeah, the whole first half was great. I lost it. I completely lost it for the uh, pretty much the whole of the first half. Yeah, foul to keep the ball safe-ish. I mean, okay, it's two dice on the ball, but half an hour, so. There's various things available, Sky Trop, which are those exclamation points there, like the the draw you can see who's played who, who's playing who and what the scores have been, the scoreboard you can see, the results and the uh, replays. There's Ardvax, there's Ardvax uh, Google Docs there, another two dice on the ball, another pal. Cars. <laughs> Dwarf catch. <laughs> oh, God. Get fucked, you little cunt. <laughs> Fuck off. Been Skuro, it's it's uh, the risk. It was how Sage's game was decided. Bit of spoilers, but I won't tell you who. Again. 
I'm going to do loads of replays tomorrow, and uh, I'll do I'll do sages then. He's just gonna, he's just gonna potato. <laughs> You're not gonna hand off. You're not gonna hand off to the runner. I mean, it was hard. To, it was hard to be fair. It was hard to clear. But obviously, you would have wanted to to hand off to the runner and potato. But he's just gonna potato at four squares a turn. To Jahinian, otherwise he's just going to get you, get the ball off you again. I think I would have found it off the run, and then he's gone, isn't he? He's actually just gone. Then. Like to be fair, I think there's a difference. To be fair, there's a difference between doing what's statistically correct, and you know when. When the when the whole match is on the line, you know. So while while you may think a three plus is the optimal decision in the cold light of day, if you play in the game, you probably think, oh, it's too risky. You know? So. But like this didn't seem worth it to me, you know. No, oh, it did though. It worked out for him. The dwarves have been thoroughly outbashed. Two cars, two sender. Oh no, two cars and, and four KOs, but still. Kind of outbashed, semi outbashed the dwarves. Doesn't, doesn't blitz with the. Uh, Doesn't blitz with the runner. Instead, chooses to base his <laughs> his ball carrier. <laughs> oh man! Oh man! I mean, this is your blitz, isn't it? This is your blitz. You blitz him and then run run the runner down as well. But striker says, "Fuck that noise! I'm just gonna fucking make a run with it with this little bastard." <laughs> Okay now. <laughs> burp, burp. Base, base, base. <laughs> this won't fail. I am on the right. Burp, burp, burp. <laughs> oh Christ. <laughs> Absolute insanity, a two plus for a two dice hit. Nobody <laughs> catches a two. <laughs> oh man. If you want to be part of Team Positive, then uh, you've got to fucking suck it up. Stop bitching like a little baby and try and fucking play better. <laughs> he didn't even push him away. <laughs> It's killing me. It's not a chain out, is it? It's not a chain out. It's actually not a chain out. No. It's actually not a chain out. He ain't got a frenzy guy. So he, he can only. He, it's going to be a dodge. But still, a dodge to. It's a, it's a blitz out, yeah. He's got Gana, but it's a blitz out, yeah. It is certainly a blitz out, Jahanian, yeah. Yeah, not a chain out, but a blitz out, yeah. Oh, man. Oh, man. 
more of the beer. And you can get two guards in, can you? One, two, three, four, five, and get both guards in to just two dice. If you roll to power, he scored. Holy shit. He's got, to, he's got to make the dodges with this guy, otherwise he just straight up loses. Fails. Yeah, I can push him that way and uh, and do something. But yeah, giving him the blitz. Yeah. <laughs> so. He's in, he's done the right move. Oh man, he's got a block here though. Three, four, five, six. Can't make it three dice, does it? Oh my god, Striker's gonna do it. Oh my god. Oh man, just needs that sweet pal. 55%. No! Just dodge, mate. Just dodge. Oh, shit. Match of the World Cup, they isn't it? Absolutely rock hard today. Nuru so has cock. just smashed his fist through his keyboard, surely. <laughs> surely is <it's> ungo. <laughs> oh, this is the Blood Bowl Hall of Fame. Oh my god, 19 AV breaks to 5. Oh, you can't. 77 blocks of 39. I mean, you just can't make it up, can you? 22 GFIs, full Shawnee. Wow. The Elves made 77 dodges. <laughs> no, 75, sorry. 75 oh dodges God. without dodge. They had like oh one dodge player God. in the entire team. And they did 75 oh dodges. Um, <laughs> That's just something else, isn't it, that game? That is, you know, notorious noobs out, duckies out, Spartacos out, striker, sails through, no problems, never in doubt. <laughs> if you enjoy that, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.